What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very first successful Instagram ad. Part one of this, I went over how to set up your Instagram ad account. Part two, I went over ad objectives for Instagram ads. Part three, I went over audiences and targeting. And again, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very first successful ad. Basically putting everything that we learned in the first three parts of this series together in this video. All right, guys, so we are in Facebook Ads Manager. All right, guys, so we are going to create our ad. What we want to do here is click on Create Ad. And then from here, we're going to click on Create New Campaign. And then this is where we're going to choose our objective. So for this campaign, what I'm going to show you is we actually want leads, right? So we want name, email, and phone numbers. And the easiest way to do that in Instagram is to create lead generation campaigns. Uh, the next easiest is probably through uh, Messenger, but that essentially just gives you uh, their profile. So what we're going to do is click on Lead Generation. And then from here, we're going to name this. So we're just going to call this uh, Lead Gen Example. And I like to bracket it and call it whatever it is. So we're going to call it Lead Forms dash the date. So we're going to do one four fourteen. Bracket, click continue. And then from here, we're going to call this what it is. So we're going to actually target uh, Instagram engaged with business page. And that's what I like to just keep it super simple, right? Uh, and then from here, what we want to do is use a saved audience. So in the video I shot yesterday, in the YouTube video I shot yesterday, we went over how to create a audience based on people who engaged with your business page. If you haven't watched that, go watch that because we're going to use that in this video. So what you're going to use is use a custom audience, and I call this in, in basically IG engaged in the past 30 days. So we're going to choose that, and then the reach is unavailable um, just because I literally just created that. Um, you'll be able to see a potential reach uh, if you go to your asset library. Uh, again, go to the hamburger menu up here under assets, choose audiences, and you'll get to this you'll be able to see the size of your audience. Uh, if you obviously have under a thousand followers, you probably aren't gonna have any more than that, um, but that's what you'll be able to see the approximate size of your audience. We're gonna go back here, so we're going to use this. Um, so what we really don't need to do is choose anybody in this location. Um, if you want to exclude people who live outside of the area of business that you wanna work, you can. Uh, but I just wouldn't, um, you really just want to engage with everybody in your audience. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, we do want to edit the placements because we do only want Instagram uh, for this ad. So we're going to uncheck Facebook and then we're going to just do Facebook newsfeed. So all that is checked is Instagram newsfeed here. And then from here, uh, we're going to choose your budget. I would choose $15 a day, $20 a day is probably a good start. Um, now, what you do want to look at is how many people are in your audience. So, like I said before, if you go to your asset library, you'll be able to see the size of how many people engaged with your Instagram business profile. Uh, if you have a lot, then you can you can do a little bit more of a daily budget. Since we know that it's under a thousand for us, then what we can do is do two dollars a day right and we can reach everybody in our audience pretty quickly uh, and this if you're targeting people who are engaged with you you really want to create what I call an omnipresence effect where you're popping up time and time again on their Instagram newsfeed not only through organic but through paid advertising on Instagram so we're gonna do two dollars a day um, if you have an audience of you know 20,000 people following you or or what, what not, um, then you want to do a little bit more. Um, I would recommend just doing that for about a thousand followers. Two dollars a day is going to get you really good results. That's what I would do if you want to target people who are engaged with your business profile on Instagram. We're going to X that out so you can see what I would do uh, otherwise. Um, for real estate and mortgage, which we work with a lot of real estate agents and loan officers, what I would do is choose people who live in this location. I would choose the area, right? So we're going to do Frisco, choose that. We're going to choose 27 and above. We're going to choose English. 
I went over all of this the other day, so that's why I'm going pretty quickly here. We're going to exclude National Association of Realtors and Brokers. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, I'm not gonna get into a whole bunch of detail targeting. I went over that in a separate video. I will link that in the description below. We are gonna choose placements here. We are just gonna choose Instagram feed and then we're gonna click continue here. And then from here, this is where you get to actually create your ad that people are going to see in the Instagram um, news feed, right? So we're gonna unclick this. Um, choose your page you want to this is where you would choose your selected Instagram account use that um, what you want to use is the Instagram account that you have linked to your profile on Facebook business manager in part one I showed you how to do that that link is in the description below so you want to choose that if you don't then you're just going to use your Facebook business page which is okay if you don't have a large following on Instagram but people won't be able to click on your profile and go to your Instagram profile. They won't actually be able to click on it and go to your Facebook profile either. It's just kind of who is who is um, advertising on that post, right? So you could there are a couple options for uh, what people will see. You can do carousel, which is multiple images. They would basically swipe to see those. You can do a single image, which is obviously a single image. What you'd want to do is a 1080 by 1080. And then you can do a single video, also 1080 by 1080. And then you can also do a slideshow on, um, on Instagram and Facebook, which is essentially multiple images with really cool uh, intros and outros for all of those. For this, we're just going to choose a single image. I'm going to find one that I've already done. We're just going to use one of these homes. Click Continue. And then from here, you can see what it's going to look like. So uh, we're just gonna do a listing because it's easy. We're gonna do hashtag featured, featured listing in Frisco. Ah, we're gonna say four bedroom, three bath. And then what you wanna do is call to action. So you'd say um, uh, tap, learn more for more photos, price and location. And then what I would do is say this home features feature one, feature two, feature three, and then copy and paste this call to action again. And that is kind of the, the uh, framework in which we do for uh, listing ads, right? We have probably five frameworks. That's the easiest uh, for most newbies in that space. Um, and then what you really want to do here uh, is also, because since you're on Instagram, you want to use the platform for what it is, right? So what you want to do is create hashtags, do hashtag Dallas real estate, you know, hashtag, and then just go down that rabbit hole of hashtags. Um, and you can research that in the Instagram uh, world, right? So go to Instagram and see what people are hashtagging in the real estate space specifically for the area that you're in because there are some really cool hashtags in Dallas that would get a lot of attention um, that may not be real estate related but it could be you know um, Dallas related so research that that takes a little bit of research on the Instagram platform uh, but you do want to include hashtags in all of your ads and then scroll down here we chose learn more here that's probably the best option for that and then the last thing you'll want to do is choose um, the lead form that you want people to see. So this is exactly what they'll see. This is a listing. So if you just do new form, you can see how that looks, right? So you just call this one, two, three, Main Street uh, lead form, and then go through the options, right? So I would skip this intro. I'll go straight to questions, and I would say, you know, find or get more information by providing your info below. Uh, Cool trick here is uncheck this email so the first thing they'll see is their email we don't want that we want them to see their name so uncheck that and then check it again and that'll be under there same thing with phone number you want that last so it's kind of hidden so people don't go in there because what happens is they auto populate those and you don't want people to see that and go in there and change it and give us bogus info 
And then you want to create your privacy policy, just do your website slash privacy policy. And then on the thank you page, send them to your listings or your website or to a Facebook messenger bot, whatever you want to do on that. And then click finish and you've got your lead form all done. This is what that kind of looks like on the Instagram platform. So we're just going to say get instant access to more pictures, price, and location of this home by entering your info below. This will be pre-populated with their name, email, phone number. They're going to click on submit, go to this page. And this is where we implement the Facebook Messenger sequence and get more information on them. Like, you know, are they a first time home buyer? What's their time frame to move? What is their credit score? Are they working with an agent or not? Those types of questions. And then the last thing you'll need to do is confirm that this is all correct. So come back up here and make sure that all of this looks good. You're using your Instagram profile. All this copy looks good. You can even go up here and check that this is the Instagram newsfeed. Um, and if you want to go and add the Instagram story, you can, uh, but I would just stick with the Instagram story for now. And then just click on confirm and you have your ad in review. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would consider subscribing to my channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.